All right, here we are in Granite Creek wreck site, just outside of Colmont, BC. The river's high today. I want to do a quick review of the Fraser Way motorhome we rented this time. So in our last videos, we had the uh, camper, with the truck. This time we got the C-Class motorhome, what they call the large. This one is a little bit bigger. It's only a foot and a half longer than the other one that we rented last time. But this one has an additional pop-out. You can see here on the side. That pop-out adds a lot of room. For the extra 10 bucks a night, it was totally worth it. If it's raining or something like that, you can go inside and have lots of room for two people. Same as before. There's a generator down below. Under there. And the two storage spots on top We've got the outside shower right here which is really cool so it's nice and hot like today you can pull the hot water out and have a shower we set up a large tarp here for some privacy this is the long weekend of may so we're probably thinking there's going to be a lot of people so my brother's truck here is just in the way come around the side See a bit of our campsite area. And with this tarp up like that, we're totally private. My brother's sleeping on the back of his canopy there. And there it is from this side. We've got the big large awning. It's got some LED lights underneath if you need them. Same as before, like the uh, medium class. It had uh, all the storage underneath and it also came with this little table which is really cool it just slides in there and comes right out so you don't need to bring a little table with you um, we have the picnic table anyways but it's nice to have an extra table there put our stuff on so let's walk around regular size van front end Lots of space, two large captain chairs. And then we get this extra little window, which was the extra foot and a half, really. So I'll walk inside and take a look. Here's the reclining chair, or well, not reclining, sorry, it's swivel chair. We have the up top bunk, it's about double size. Got a little skylight on the top. Vent if you want. It's got a window on each side. Super cool. We got lots of covered space in the top. And you can see the kitchen here is a lot bigger than the last unit we used. We got a double sink. Three burners. A lot more counter space than the last one. Cupboards up top with a microwave. The sink down below heaters we've got an oven which you don't really use because we're in the fireplace but outside but uh it's nice to have and you got like what's about a queen size bed back here which is super cool with our own window lots of storage up top same thing a little fan skylight for air in the summertime I'm going to show you guys the bathroom. So this one has the sink outside the bathroom, which kind of gives it a little bit more room. So in here, we have the full toilet and its own shower. So unlike the camper version that we rented, the shower and the toilet are completely separate lots of room even has its own heater in the bathroom which we used last night because it got down to one degree I'm just gonna back up show you guys the fridge freezer big enough fridge lots of storage 
in the dining area. And I'll just give you a view from this side what it looks like here from the bathroom. So this one was well worth it, guys. If you're ever going to, you think you need a little bit more room or especially a little bit more counter space with the extra sink, going from a medium to a large was a great investment for only $10 a night. It was well worth it. Check in with you guys again later.